Roll audio. Roll audio. My name's Thurston Hell. I just parked the Jaguar and it's time to drink. Today, we are tasting our brand new flagship IPA, Powell the Owl. Note the owl. Not only is IPA the number one selling beer style in the craft world, it's also my favorite type of beer to make. The history of IPA is really cool. The British troops were thirsty in India and the brewers decided that a beer of normal strength and normal hoppiness couldn't survive the voyage. So you basically make an alcohol rich beer and hop the hell out of it, send it on a six month journey around the Cape of Good Hope, and voila, you have IPA. What we've done is take some of the classic roots of Northwest IPA, Centennial hops, Chinook hops, and then we turn around and slap it in the face with Mosaic, Amarillo, Azaka, Eureka, really juicy fruit forward hops. Now let's tear into it. That's my favorite part. That crisp snap, pulling it out of the pack tech, and this is my favorite sound of the whole world, my alarm clock. Ah. Looking for a nice little bit of head evolving there. These glasses are etched on the bottom, so there's always a little bit of bubble coming up and delivering some fresh aroma to you. As we take a look at this beer, it's got a wonderful orange color to it. That's just a product of the malt that we get from Klamath Falls, malted in Vancouver, Washington. God, I get it's stone fruit right away. Pine, citrus, and some of these tropical notes are really dope. It's really freaking good. Some quick stats on Powell the Owl IPA. 14.7 degrees Play-Doh, five IBUs, packed with over three pounds of hops per barrel. No caramel malts, so really dry and crisp. And I think it's gonna be a new favorite beer. Thanks so much for drinking beer with us today. Make sure to like and subscribe below and join us on January 10th for the release party and crush some beer. You're really good. I'm just channeling Billy. I, I always say, what would Billy say? <laughs>